Yeah, that was fast. That is so loud. And <laughs> my voice is so loud. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to that show, guys. We are back for another episode, and today it's another version of Ask That Show. That Ask That Where Show. Where you guys ask the questions, and we answer them to the best of our abilities. Yes. My name is Sid. My name is Kat, and we don't promise that any of our advice is any kind of sound. You follow this, and you will go to heaven. I promise you that. That will be where you're going. You will make money. Really? And you will get laid. Really? Everything. All the good stuff. Hashtag blessed. Virgins in heaven? Yes. All that stuff? Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Yes. All right. Now, before we kick off the show, we'd like to remind everybody that for a 10% discount on zillion.ph, use the promo code T-S-T-E-N-O-F-F. That's testing off for you guys. Testing off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, if you use that, you can get a 10% discount on anything that you buy on zillion.ph. Which is a shopping portal online. We were discussing this. Kind of like Amazon. Yeah. Right? Something like that. Uh-huh. And we have our own products that we bought today. I bought myself a pair of spandex pants. Spandex pants. Yes. Everybody needs a good pair of spandex, spandex pants. Spandex pants. Yes. So if you use our promo code T-S-T-E-N-O-F-F, -F, you get 10% off on a already discounted piece of Spanx pants. For 863 bucks. Good for Minus stretching. Minus spa 10%. Minus spa 10%? What? Divan. No, really? Right. That's awesome. What did you buy? Uh, I bought some nudie panties. Yes! I love the nudie panties. You know, I get a budget for stuff that I want to buy on this thing, and I opted to buy the nudie panties. I'm yes. actually kind of curious. Yes. How can nudie you, are the nudie panties? Can you wear them on the show one day, your nudie panties? If it's all right with you guys, because I'm very mabulbo. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I trimmed. And your 10% off will be in the middle somewhere. So. Yes. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm freshly groomed, bitches. Yeah. So snippy, snippy. Snippy, snip. All right, guys. So there you go. Go on to zillion.ph and use our promo code T-S-T-N-O-F-F -F for 10% discount. Take a picture of yourself wearing the nudie panties and send it to us at sibsibluge at gmail.com. That's right. Penises. And you will win shit. Take a picture of you wearing the nudie panties. I want to see how nudie it is. Right? Buy you it. have your own. Yeah. You can wear your own nudie panties. I'll post a picture of myself wearing the nudie panties. You'll and... send a picture to yourself at cbcvelogay.com. Yes! Then I can jack off to that one. There you go. Alright. Solving everybody's problems. Alright, on with that show! We're doing Ask FM. We are. Yeah. Ask that show. So here we go with our first question. Of course, if you want to send us a question yourself and ask us anything stupid, which you usually do, ask.fm slash that show ph is okay. where you can send your questions. First question, please. If you were a Game of Thrones character, would you fuck, kill, and marry? Who would you fuck, kill, and marry? Also, who would you want to be killed by... Oh, how would you... I can't read today. How would you want to be killed by George R. R. Martin? Love that show. Yes! Yes! Okay, I would mm -hmm. marry Marjorie. Uh, Marjorie? Queen, Queen Marjorie. Uh -huh, Queen Marjorie. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I would fuck Sansa. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah. a, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But you can actually fuck a lot of girls on. I think I'd fuck her too. Yeah. Why? She's kind of hot. What about her face? What do you mean, what about her face? I mean, she, she, you like her face? She's kind of young yeah, looking. She's kind of cute. She yeah. kind of got that like innocent. Innocent face whatever. Yep, yep. I would marry her it. Her or Daenerys? Daenerys, Daenerys. Hey, uh, Daenerys yeah. Stormborn, Targaryen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, I would kill. Oh, crap. I want to kill that kid. The one that goes into your head. Uh, the Stark boy. The Bran? Cri the crippled Stark boy. Yeah, Bran. You want to kill Bran? He's annoying. Why do you want to kill him? He's annoying. Why? I like all the bad guys. I hate the fucking good guys. <laughs> I hate Bran. Why do you want to kill Bran? Because he reminds me of the kid from uh, Once Upon a Time. You know that show? No. where, Where the uh, fairy tale characters come to life in the real world and there's this fucking kid, man. He's so annoying. He reminds me of Bran. Watch Once Upon a Time. It's kind of good. It's bad at the same time. 
All right, well, I probably fuck Daenerys because she's kind of hot. Uh, Mary Sansa. No, but why are you nice giving me lesbian in. answers? Well, I, I'm bi. I'm allowed to do that. What, you know? Wouldn't you marry, um, what's his face? Ramsey. Ramsey Bolton, the guy who tortured Greyjoy. Uh uh. He's awesome. Uh uh. So not my type. Why would you not marry Littlefinger? Oh. He's awesome. No, no. Why would you not marry Jamie? No. Jamie Lannister's the shit. No, if anybody, probably Jon Snow. Badoy! Yeah. Badoy! He's corny. No, I like him. He's cute. Bleh. What's better than Jamie? Sir Jamie, dude. He has one hand. I don't know about that. He's guy. such an asshole. Yeah. He is an asshole. Yeah, but he's, he's totally your type. Yeah, I like him. I don't know who I would kill, though. I think yeah, there's a lot of people I'd kill on there. There's a lot of bad I'd kill Bran. Kill Bran. Yeah. I might kill the kid with him. What's his name? Which one? The... the guy with the sister. The guy he's with the sister. Annoying. He's trying to teach him how yeah, to be a, yeah. he's a weirdo. Kind of annoying. Yeah, he's kind of annoying too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think he has a crush on Bran. Uh, uh, I know, right? There's something homo going uh, on. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. That's your answer. Next question, please. Oh, and how would we want to die? How do I want to die? Uh... Fast. Some of that stuff is painful. Explode. Killed by the mountain. Killed by the what? Like the eyeballs? In yeah, the but, but see, this guy is like phenomenally strong. Yeah. And uh, he can kill you in so many ways. Yeah. If I were to die on that show, I want to be killed by the mountain. Get creative. I don't know. Tear me apart. Really? I would just, you know. And then you'd be fighting the mountain and you're saying. Slow and painful. You killed him! You killed him! And then you rape him! You fuck his children! That's how, what would happen. Oh, super awesome. Just like that, uh, that's the like episode. <laughs> yeah. All right, next You question. rape him! Next question. I got raped by the mountain. All right. Uh, <laughs> Hi, guys. What's the best way to get over or forget someone? Love your show, guys. Thanks. To get over or forget someone. Um, go and get on with your life. Uh, <laughs> is that blunt enough? Fuck someone. That is a quick fix. Yeah. Although it can do long-term damage if, you know, if, you know, you're not quite over the person, you have sex with someone else, and then you have that feeling of guilt after, like, you cheated on someone even though you didn't. Uh, ah. e, uh, how do you get over someone, man? Oh. I say just get along, uh, get on with your life, do the things that you have to do, go to work, you know, and go through the motions. Being with someone, I always say it's like an addiction, you know. You chemically become attached to each other, and so when you break up, it's like having to let go of an addiction. So you keep apart from each other. You do what you need to do. And if you go through withdrawals, let yourself go through them, like crying or being moody or eating a tub of ice cream, you know, and like, and then move on with your life. Just remember that that person, you broke up with them for a reason, right? Yep. And never talk to them ever again. Yes, that is yeah. probably the Avoidance best thing to is do. key. Yes. Yeah. You can be friends with your exes, but if it's still painful Not too soon. stuff, yep. Not too soon. Leave time in between. Maybe so. never. Yes. <laughs> Some people definitely <laughs> never. Maybe never. Our exes definitely never. Never. Yes. All right. Next question, please. Is it gay if men shave or wax their armpits? Is gay to gay shave or wax your pits if you are a, uh, an Olympian and a swimmer. Yes. Then it's perfectly fine to be hairless. Yes, it is. Michael Phelps is very uh, naked. Yes, it creates drag. But yeah. if mm -hmm. for any other reason you feel the need to go like shave your pits or like, uh, like I think wax runners it. and stuff do it too, though. Oh, I don't. Must cause if chafing, don't know. you know, if, like running. If, if there is a purpose for it, like um, it creates drag in whatever sport you're doing, mm -hmm. then go mm -hmm. ahead. It's not gay. But say, wala lang, you don't like having hair in your pits. Yeah. You're gay. Yeah, you're gay. You're gay. Trim. Trim. I think the same goes for guys who shave or wax their arms. Have you ever seen that? What? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, I saw like a guy, a friend of mine, and his hot hair looked like, you know, stubbly. And what? I was like, dude, did you shave your arms? He was like, I waxed them. I'm like, why? He's like, I'm super hairy. I'm like, men are supposed to be hairy. 
Don't wax them. It's weird when you're hairless and you're a guy. Right? Men are supposed to have a little bit of hair. Yes. If you're really that conscious, for example, the this side of my arm gets a little hairy, I trim a bit. <laughs> it's just in the inner <laughs> arms trim right your here. Arm hair? No, but look, it, it it doesn't have a good it it's really <laughs> concentrated somewhere here. So I trim it somewhere here. So somewhere there? Yeah, just here. Some just yeah, here. Just yeah. Trim trim my arms. I, I trim my uh, my toe hair Very monkey because arms. it gets really long. Oh, gross. Uh, I trim my knee, my right knee because it's hairier than the left. <laughs> but just because I just want it to be uniform. Then But I I never shave it. Never shave it. Don't shave it. Waxing or shaving? I think that guys with naked armpits it's kind of strange. Malabu yon, dude. But unless you're super like like, you know, you got an afro on your Unless arm you're going something. like on a, in a, to a bodybuilding competition where it's in your best interest to be hairless. Yeah. So wait, is it not gay to trim, but it's gay to wax and shave? It's not gay to trim. That's just proper hygiene. Yes. I'm saying. Trimming is just being a good boy. Waxing or shaving is being gay. If you're wearing like a shirt with like really short sleeves, trim it a bit. Yes. I'm not saying shave it all off so no. that one can absolutely just trim it a bit. Yes. So it doesn't pop out. Yes. Yeah. Poppy out hair in your t-shirt armpit is a little bit strange. Picking up chicks like that is gonna be difficult. Okay, and if you're rocking like a, a tank top on the beach and then your hair is like like that, and then you put your arm around a girl and it goes like <laughs> like that, you gotta trim. Like you gotta trim, really. Tickling her arm. Kadiri eh. Kadiri yun. Oh baby, don't tickle me. Yeah, it's kind of gross. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> so if that happens to you, you should trim. And it's not gay. Yes. Trimming is not gay. The rest of it is. Gay. Next question. Would you rather have the power to choose which direction your fart will go or the power to ejaculate at will even without stimulation? Oh, jeez. Uh, what would be the point of that? Uh, Bahabu yung second eh. <laughs> diba? Wala lang. It takes the whole fun out of jacking off. Like, uh, it, it, it takes the fun out of it. And where would you use it? Like, Wala oh, lang. galit ako sa'yo. Oh, jizz! There's no practical reason <laughs> for it. Like, parang, I could, oh shit, I want to jizz in this glass. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> parang ba, I don't know. But, but, Pero nakakatawa. You're right, white Russian niya. You know, yeah, it's like it's got like stuff in extra. it. It's like I would go the red with the light first one where version. I could direct my fart into somebody's face. No, really. Like, like as I say, I farted right now, <laughs> and then I, I, I thought really hard, and I point, and then I point <laughs> to your face. I can imagine a cloud going there, ah. and it happens. Imagine what you could do. You could do it everywhere, man. Your teachers, your boss. I feel paranoid Basti, now because there's actually I don't know. a fart around my face in Diba? a second. Like, if I yeah. could do that, that's an awesome power. <laughs> they could send fartograms to people. Diba? I'm like there at like uh, Noi Noi State of the Nation address in the crowd. <laughs> like pop, pop a fart and then just like, parang, <laughs> And then it hits his face and he just goes like. <laughs> and, and that's it. That's, that's an awesome power. Awesome. That's what what I if do. you could seal them in envelopes or put them in bags? Send it to people. <laughs> like in the mail. That's awesome too. Right? Like right? long distance. Like time release. Yeah. Like like you, you fart in an envelope, you seal it, you send it abroad. It, it's like a happy birthday card. This guy opens it. <laughs> happy birthday. Holy shit. And it ferments for a few days, spa, and travel? Yeah. Like like tae, that's like vinegar at the same time. Gets better with age. Yeah. <laughs> the power of farting in power directing of farting. your fart. Jizzing in people's faces isn't really... Imagine if I could send my fart abroad. <laughs> On a plane by itself. Or like you're watching TV, like something live. Parang, oh my god, I hate this guy. <laughs> and it flies away. Who would be the guy who got the most farts sent to his like place? In the whole world. I don't know. There's one guy you, you know, could send who a I fart to right to? now. Yeah. Uh, crap. Shit. Uh. Simon Cowell would get a lot of farts. <laughs> Simon Cowell. Yeah. <laughs> if people could do this thing, Simon Cowell would get. People who deserve a lot of hate. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next question, please. Hi guys. Sib just taught us how to measure our penises. Yes, you guys learn all the time from Sib. 
Reminds me of an episode of South Park where Randy Marsh talked about this formula. Uh, length times diameter plus weight divided by girth divided by the angle of the tip squared. What can you say about this, guys? Too complicated. Length times diameter. Length times diameter. So it's the length. The length diameter is pi r. Wait, am I, plus is that correct? The diameter the is just an bar. The distance from the middle to the, uh, the What's outer. What's the difference between the diameter and the girth? The girth is the taba, man. That's and like the diameter a, is what? Diameter bayon. That's thickness. Wait, What's so if I'm diameter? talking circles, the diameter is like across. That's girth. Yeah. That's girth, bro. Yeah. See, same thing. It doesn't make sense. So yes. it's length times diameter plus weight over girth. Mm-hmm. Plus Which is the same thing. Everything over the angle, the tip squared. Mm-hmm. Labu yun, bro. Yes, malabu, bro. I don't know what kind Your equation of, has holes in it. Go I don't back. know what kind of measurement you're going to end up with. Yeah. Really. And like, if it were just going for volume, then you just go for, like, the basic whatever. And what would that be? Like, cubic square meters or something like that? What would you come up with? How, who would be able to understand the size of your penis? Just do it from the tip where we showed you and say... Five. If you want to be really accurate with it, um, you get like a glass or like a pint or whatever. Mm. You fill it up with water, you dip your dick in it, <laughs> and then the amount of water that comes out displaced is the volume of, of how much dick there actually is yes. on you. Absolutely. And then you all measure how much water each guy displaced. He has the biggest dick. Genius. How do you avoid your balls falling into the cup? Well, on one day, yeah, 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 you get like a bib for your ah, balls. Yeah. Okay. So dip your dick in a pint. Got it. What if they have a lot of bulbul? And like absorb. Trim, trim. We go back to trim. Okay. Trim. Trim, trim. first, then dip, and then the volume. Do of the it water with your guy friends, great. all in a nice group. Yeah. Look for a couple of glasses, <laughs> dip it, and have fun. And tell neck. us what the volume of your penis is. Yeah, tell us oh, who yeah. has the biggest dick in your bracada. Right? Yeah. That's awesome. I want to know. Sipsipalugay at gmail.com. Next question, please. Do you treat your body like a temple or more like an amusement park? Um, My body is a wonderland. You're an amusement park. Is that an amusement park? Yeah. Well, I don't fill it full of cotton candy and clowns. My body is a temple. <laughs> I'm sensitive. Well, back then I was a smoker, but um, yeah, things change. You get older, you treat it like a temple. Yeah, it's more like a temple than an amusement park, but it's still a wonderland. It used to be a garbage can, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it definitely. I did. eat shit off the floor. Although you did eat healthy, you didn't eat anything at all. No, but I would also drink beers <laughs> that weren't mine. That's true. Yeah. And kick them at people. Yeah. It so. was a good time in our lives. Next question, please. Follow Kat on Instagram and saw one picture that looked like a bachelorette party. Are you getting married, Kat? Yes! <laughs> no. What? No. No. It wasn't my bachelorette party. It was somebody else's. Boo. I was just in the back with my ears. My ears! I'm great at bachelorette parties because I like to dance and stuff and it makes people go, way! I want to get invited to a bachelorette party. We'll dress you up as a girl one day. No, I want to dress up as the, uh, the, 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 the dancing bear. Okay. The, the dancing, dancing bear. bear. Dancingbear.com, ladies and gentlemen. Search if you've never for the seen dancing this, bear. Yes. You have to look it up. He's a guy who wears a bear head and he's basically the, the Chippendale. Yes. He's the male stripper. He has no clothes on and people suck his dick. He's the dancing bear. I want to be a dancing bear. Yeah. That is great. You can come to my bachelorette, but you can't be the dancing bear. I can be the dancing bear. Only if you don't tell anybody it's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Instagram this shit. All right. Next question, please. I'm 18 and a woman offered me lots of money for a one night stand. Ooh, lesbianist. I'm She's in her 18 and a woman offered me lots of money for a one night stand. Yes. Okay. She's oh wait, is she a, no, she's a guy, he's a guy. He's a guy. I'm 18 and a woman offered me lots of money for a one night stand. She's in her 40s, I'm guessing. Yeah. Should I go for it? She's cute, but a bit chubby. I don't know, what say you on taking money for a uh, hoinky toink? Ah, uh, you a prostitute. All right. Uh, but, Are you a gigolo? But really, if, if it doesn't come in the form of money, 
like say she likes you and she's nice and she pays for college yes that's not prostitute she's just being nice she buys you gucci shoes she buys you nice things because you're friends that's called sugar mama ain't not yeah, prostitution that's not a prostitute i mean if you if you meet them on an on and off basis and you have other clients and you get paid money then you are a prostitute but if you are like committed to your sugar mommy you're not a prostitute I guess. I think. What do you but think? But he's 18. Is that, I a, don't know. Is, is that a gray area? If you're committed to your sugar mommy, then yeah, it's well, not I'm, prostitution. I'm not exactly getting paid by anybody else. Um, if there is no emotional attachment and money is being exchanged, isn't that considered kind of prostitution anyway? No, but a prostitute makes her money from, uh, or his or her money from, uh, from sex. Gigolos, yeah, that's exactly. It's a prostitute. But, um, but see, I, I have like a wide clientele. Is there like a prostitute of one? Like I only service one? Well, if you're still being paid for it. Like, Cunare, I if I was like a girl and I only like I only bang this guy because he's loaded, does that make me a prostitute? Let's say that your girlfriend is paying for you. Are what? you a prostitute? What do you mean she's paying for me? She's paying for you. She pays for my drinks. Yeah. My uh, my meals. Yep. Pays for you. May ano ka pa? May allowance. Pays for my gasoline. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Seb, uh, uh, you can't visit me today because wala kang gas here. I send you money. Yes. Whatever. Wala kang load. Bili ka tala cellphone. Ganon. Are you a prostitute? No, she you? just really likes you. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Am I, I don't a know prostitute? About that one. Are you a gigolo? That's the question. Do you want to take money for a woman for Ako, sex? Alam mo, okay lang. Really. It's a, it's a gray area. Parang... I mean, you, the only thing at stake there is your pride. Yeah. It's just your pride. But I'm really, you're going to okay. take this. Y you say that and I'm going to say don't do it because I don't know about prostitution. It's legal. What? It's, it's illegal. illegal. Prostitution is illegal. Yeah. But I don't think it's prostitution because if you're getting paid in kind, like yeah. stuff. Yeah. Then I don't know. I don't know. Pera yun eh. I say if you're gonna bang kung pera, her, ala, kung pera, you want prostitute. to. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Obvious yun. If you want to bang her, go ahead, bang her. Use condoms. Use protection. Do that. Yeah, she's kind of cute, naman, but she's cute, naman, but kind of chubby. Then, chubby. Man, you're kind of attracted to her, and. Uh, man, mommy fetish yet. Uh, whatever. Then maybe you're not. Baka you're not being forced to do it. For Think me. about it, bro. Make sure you're also 18 for sure. But if you start servicing other chubby, kind of cute women, then you're a prostitute. Yes, yeah. you're a gigolo. Yeah. Next question, please. Who would you rather have sex with? Someone who smells like freshly baked pandesal down there but has terrible body odor, or someone who smells bad down there but has body odor that smells like freshly baked pandesal? Heat up yen. Um. Ano yung body odor, yung parang yung buong katawan, mabaho? Yeah, or yung pili-kili lang, pwede naman mag-rexona? Body ganun. odor is body odor, man. So yung parang galing sa leeg? Yeah. Ako, I think I would go with uh, the second one. I just wouldn't go down on her. But wouldn't that like get involved in your sex life at I some point? Like, yeah, but just rather have sex you never with go down between on the me. two, man. Why and don't I, you ever go down on me? Am I having sex with her long time or is it just like a one night stand? Love you a long time, daddy. Uh, shit. <laughs> shit. And if, for example, if, if it's the kind of body odor that you can't get rid of, but yeah. no yung do you get sa damit mo after. Uh, yung kama mo mabaho. mabaho. Second pa rin ako, man. Sige nga. Yung second I mean, yeah, nobody wants to have, like, smelly junk, but really... Yeah, yeah. I mean, chances are, if it's that smelly, there's something wrong and you can have it remedied, right? Yeah. That's but a really, a, a, a dick smells like a dick. <laughs> well, balls smell like balls. Yeah, exactly. There's no change in that. A dick <laughs> smells... It's, it's not the most pleasant thing in the world, but a dick smells like a dick. Sometimes guys have dick musk. Yeah, dick musk, exactly. <laughs> it was a hot day. It's kind of tight. It's nasty. Yeah. All right. So you're in second, second, second. All right. Pandesal down there. Next. Hi guys, I'm a really shy guy and I'm bad at small talk. Any suggestions for me to help talk to girls? Mm. There's this one girl at my gym that I really want to talk to. Thanks and more power. Torpe. You're date torpe. Ka. Dude, I suck at this. I know, right? How did you land your girlfriend? Um. <clears throat> 
I was very persistent. And uh, you sit by her door every day with your dick in your hand. What? No, no. I was very, <laughs> very confident, and I didn't care. Ah, uh, there you go. That yeah. is a very good tip, actually. Be very confident. Act like you don't care. Did you act like you didn't care, or you I actually care. didn't care? You can hate me, whatever. Like, go ahead. But what did you do? Not. Uh, I was very persistent. Uh, you wanna go hang out? You wanna go have coffee? Hi, coffee, lang man. Oh, and that's all. Yeah. So you're saying be confident in yourself. Talk to girls. Actually, guys, confidence really is key. Like you know, I, I read something <laughs> where in a like a advice that dads g- give to whatever on it's 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 a thing on Facebook. Always, parang try to date beyond your ano your your expectations. Not your expectations. Your if you think she's ano she's beyond you. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. And, and and you'll surprise yourself or some shit like that. I don't know. That was the... I'm wording it really wrong. Yeah. But parang ganun eh. Parang... If you think she's not in your reach, reach for it anyway. Go for it. Yeah. Parang, Go for it. You think about it. How many ugly guys out there have really hot girlfriends? Yeah. They're those guys. Mm-hmm. Kaya eh. Yeah, you can do it. Just be confident. Be yourself. Talk to a person. Open yourself up and see if you have anything in common. Most of the time... If there's a pretty girl and she doesn't like you, it's because you're not compatible. So just start talking to them. Mm. That helps. All right. Next. You'll, luckily, you'll probably end up with a girl who has really uh, low self-esteem and she'll bang you. Or a really hot girl that likes intelligent people. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Next question, please. My boyfriend has a huge dick. Booyah. I love him, but sex with him is, is painful. Is he Anyway. Arr. It feels like he's ripping me open every time we have sex. Is he oh. Sib? I, I love sex, so it sucks. Is there anything I can do to make it better? Thanks, guys. Uh, crap. You okay. Use a lubricant. Well, I actually read something about this the other uh. day, and it said lube, a lot of lube. Positioning is important, so like, don't do things like uh, doggy style or anything is like that. Is doggy style... More stressful for the vag as far as like be- girth wise? It, no, not girth wise, but if it's bigger. Ah, uh, like big dick, what's the easiest position to get a big dick in? A girl on top is the best. Because you control it. Yes, because you control how fast it goes in. But you know what? I read somewhere that a vagina <laughs> is, about, <laughs> anyway. is about three to four inches. Normal size, so I need a vagina yeah. can expand 200%. Uh. So from three to four inches, why does she make 12 inches? I've seen videos, videos, videos. So there you go, and a vagina can expand. So lube, positioning, also uh, warming up your vagina. Do so. it at your if talagang nakatakot at sin ka gadornab. Hello, ano to? <laughs> Para oh my yung pinto. God. Um, take your time. So that has been another episode of Ask That Show. We have different segments all the time. We're gonna have a segments coming up soon and guests, which are gonna be so exciting. We're gonna have a guest soon. Oh shit! Now I'm, I'm nervous. I, 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 we we haven't had visitors in a while. And that's totally totally be fine. Okay. We can do the puppets with them if it makes you less nervous. Okay. <laughs> You can do your high voice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretend I'm not me. All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us on Ask That Show. If you want to get in touch with us, Twitter at That Show PH, ask.fm slash That Show PH, Facebook, That Show PH is our page. Please do like it and, of course, go on to zillion.ph for a 10% discount. T S T E. Nudie panties. O double F spandex pants. Yes. Bye. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.